Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing empty. So these are products that I have used up and I would tell you if I repurchased them and my thoughts and stuff like that. So I really enjoy doing, not doing, watching uh, these videos. I think it's really fun getting to see what product people, you know, continually reach for and stuff. So I'm super excited to do this video. So let me know what products you've used up recently and let's go ahead and get started. So I have a good bit of skincare. I well not a good bit, but I have several things skincare, so we can talk about that first. So first I have the e.l.f. Daily Cleanser. I got this from Target for like four dollars, I think. And it was a nice cleanser. Um it was like there was nothing really special about it, but it was a great daily cleanser, which is what it's called. So I do like this. I would, you know, repurchase it. It was a good price. Um, it didn't wow me though, but I would repurchase it. It was a really nice uh, moist, uh, cleanser. It was a really nice cleanser, so it was all right. I did enjoy it. Next thing was a um, moisturizer from Clinique. I've still got a little bit like up in the front, but I can't get it out. And I've taken the lid off. Uh, like I can't get the lid off either. So, but this was a nice um, moisturizer. It was for very dry to dry combination skin. I did mix a little bit of oil in this and apply it. It was a bit thicker than I prefer moisturizers to be. So I wore this at night and it really sank into my skin. It made my skin feel really, really nice. My skin hasn't felt that dry this year, which is really nice. So I don't know if I would repurchase this. I don't think I would. It was a nice moisturizer, but I don't think I would repurchase it. Uh, next thing is Milani Lip Oil. I really, really enjoy this. You should... Um, we go and get these, they're like $8 or something, but you know, you can always wait till they're like buy one, get one half off or something like that and get them for a really good deal. They've got eight shades. This one was the pomegranate shade, I believe, and they each do different, something different. I forgot what this one did because almost all the lettering has rubbed off, but I did really enjoy this and I would recommend going in and getting it. Uh, I know Too Faced, it came out with some like lip gloss oils and Lip oils seem like they're going to be a trend in 2017, so go get you one. They're really nice. They're really nice to add into your, like, skincare routine or, like, when you pamper yourself. So I would definitely recommend um, checking out one of those. And then the last skincare type thing is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel um, Moisturizer. This was really nice. Like, I literally scrape the bottom of that I did really enjoy this I think it would be better for in the summertime like when you go out in the sun you might get a little burnt sometimes because it was very had a very cooling effect to it um it was very it was it was nice I think I, I definitely would repurchase this I heard that they have a different version that's like in the same type of tube so I need to look and see like what kind that is for I've heard that this is recommended for oily skin. Um, I have dry skin, and it works just fine on me, but I think it'd be great for the summertime, you know, when you go out in the sun more, because it's very cold. Like, like, I liked it, but I dreaded putting it on because it was so, it was really cold. I don't, I guess it was part of what was in here, the some of the ingredients. So, uh, I think it'd be great for, like, summertime, or it is, I've heard a lot of people recommend it for oily skin. So, I would recommend you know, China, I did really enjoy it, and I probably would repurchase it. One thing I don't like is you don't get as much product as you think, like, I mean, obviously, I I actually was able to find this, like, half off or something, so I shouldn't be complaining that much, but, um, y you, see, you look at the thing, and you don't get that much product. It makes it look a lot, it makes it look like you get a lot more than you do, and you don't, so that is one thing, and this is about $20, so... It is a bit expensive, but I would purchase it and I would recommend it. So let's go ahead and get on to some makeup. I don't have as many makeup empty items because, you know, it takes a long time to um, use up a makeup product, which, you know, I probably shouldn't buy as much makeup, but, you know, I'm still going to. I did have a Bath & Body Works um, body wash thing, um, you know, a uh, shower gel. But I don't know where I put that. But anyway, I have one of those. It was in sea salt cotton, which I really enjoy that um, product. It's really nice. So 
that was an empty, but I don't know where it is. So, we'll start out. I think in every empties video I do, I'm going to have a lot of concealers. Just because I use a lot of concealers. Like, a lot. I have three <laughs> to share with you now. I have the Adri line, which I do really enjoy. This isn't, like, my favorite, favorite concealer. But it's definitely one of them. I like it because it's quick. Um, that's, that's my case. And I'm like, it's quick. And it does give pretty good coverage, so... I do enjoy this, you um, just you twist it and you just put it on your eye whichever way you want. Some people do a triangle, some people do it, they highlight with it, just you know whatever they want to do. I, the way I do it is I put it like under like under my eye like this and then I put some down this way, kind of like here, not like in a triangle like, like this and then I go back here and do it like down, kind of like down here, kind of like highlighting this area too but like not the whole area. That's how I like to do it, um, cause I feel like you know you put it here and then like you know you have highlights. So I only bring my highlight to like right here, so it does make my eyes look good and it does highlight that area. But anyway, that's how I usually do my highlight. And then um, this is another one by Maybelline. It's fifteen fair. A lot of people have talked about this concealer, like they rave about it, they like, oh, I really, really like it, it works well for me. This one had a very strong yellow undertone, and I do have a cooler undertone, so I, you know, go more towards pinks. Um, I didn't like this one, not just because of the color. I didn't like, I didn't like the coverage, like the coverage, it was alright. Um, but I didn't like, it was very yellow, and it was still pretty dark considering it was fair. Um, I, as far as I know, this was the lightest shade, too, so, um, I wouldn't repurchase this product at all. And then this one is by Wet n Wild. It came out, um, a few months ago, and I got it, and I was super excited. It's, um, let's see, it's high, highlighting and concealing pen, and, um, basically you would just, twist it and you would do it under your eye or your nose, your chin, you know, wherever you want to highlight and conceal. Um, and I really did like this, but my issue is, okay, so look at the product. So you, tw so this is where you get it right here. And then down here is where you twist it, but you only get a small area for concealer. Like, let me see if I can show you like that much for concealer. That's it. So you only get like half the product you do in a regular concealer. So I did really like this, but I wouldn't repurchase it. And I think this might have been a spring launch or summer launch or something. Because I haven't seen it recently. But I wouldn't repurchase it because of that reason. But I did like it. And then I have a mascara. This is the Marc Jacobs one. It's the Omega Lash one. And um, I got a kit from Sephora in July. And I used, I used, I used it all up. I love this wand. See if I can show you close. I love this wand. It did a really awesome job on my lashes. It made them look nice and big. And then um, with the kit, um, you got a certificate for a free mascara. But when I went to get my free mascara, um, they were out of this one. So I was kind of disappointed because this is like, 20 some dollars it's a lot it's really expensive but it's really awesome so I would I this is definitely my favorite mascara so I probably I am going to repurchase it at some point but my Sephora did not have it so um that's why I don't I haven't repurchased it but I do recommend it it's the Omega Lash I think that's what it's called the Omega Lash Mascara something like that but it's really nice they have another one, I forgot what that one's called. Actually, the ladies are really nice. I'm like, oh, I really want Marc Jacobs mascara. And they're like, okay, well, we'll give you the other one that we have. Because um, they apparently don't sell this one at, that, at my Sephora at all. But anyway, um, I, like the, I like the Omega Lash. It's awesome. It's really good. It really gives you, um, it gives you kind of fluttery lashes, which is personally uh, my preference. So, I do like this. And then the final product I'm going to talk about is a foundation. Well, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Uh, there's been a lot of controversy about this. Like some people, they like it, they don't. Some people, it makes me break out. It smells weird. It goes on weird. And I do agree with some of those things. Like, um, 
I don't wear foundation to work most of the time I wear just kind of like a CC cream or BB cream just because of what I do for work um but I like this I like this to wear like on the weekend and stuff it gives you a really nice glow it goes on it's about medium coverage I mean I think you can build it up yeah it says on the back medium coverage I, I you probably could um build it up but I don't like full coverage foundation anyway so that's why I like this and it, it is for normal to dry skin. So people that had oily skin were trying it and then they were griping. Oh, it makes me look oily. Of course it makes you look oily if you have oily skin. But if you have drier, if you have normal or dry skin, it looks really good. I use a flat top brush from Wet n Wild and just kind of buff it into my skin. And it looks beautiful. I do agree with, it does, it does, ugh, the smell is, I don't know what they put in here, but the smell does not smell good. <laughs> does not smell good and I do agree with it does make you break out if you wear it every day but I don't wear foundation every day but um at a certain point I was wearing it every day and I did notice that I was breaking out more so I this is an awesome foundation it's my favorite as of right now so I have already repurchased it I have it in my vanity right now so I do like this I wouldn't recommend wearing it every day though so um, it's really, it is really good, but it does make you break out if you wear it every day, and it is medium coverage, it gives you a nice glow, and I do really like it, I do want to try the matte version, I'm not a big fan of matte, um, matte foundations, but I do like this, so I think I'm going to try, I think I'm going to try that one, hopefully I'll like it. Uh, and then I heard that they came out with a full coverage one. It's part of the infallible line, but I've heard too many bad things about it. So I'm definitely, I'm not going to, I'm not going to purchase that, but I do like this. So I'll quickly tell you the products I would repurchase. Um, I would repurchase this. I actually already have. I have repurchased the Maybelline Age Rewind. It's very quick, um, which is what I like for a concealer. And then I already have one of these. I really like these. I would repurchase. Um, I would repurchase this. I think it's really nice. Um, especially if you can get a coupon or something, go to Ulta and you can get it for a pretty good deal. Um, and then I would repurchase the Marc Jacobs Omega Lash Mascara. And then I think those are the products I would definitely repurchase, like the e.l.f. Cleanser is nice, but I want to try a different cleanser. I, I don't think I would repurchase that in the future. So, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your empties were for the month. And, um, not empties for the month, just empties in general. Um, it really takes you, it really takes you a long time to empty a product. I was going to do the Project Pan challenge, but I decided not to just because it takes you too long to do a product. And I'm very like, oh, I want to use this and this. So, um, it does take you a long time to finish up products, but it, it is nice to do it. You really see what products you enjoy. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are having a good day, and I hope tomorrow is even better. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!